Hello and welcome to the demonstration for reconciling production losses with causing events. My name is Jonathan Bywater and I am the production manager for APM Reliability Management. This short video will benefit production managers wishing to understand and eliminate the cost of production losses. To illustrate this, we will create a production plan and capture actual output. We will reconcile production losses against causing events and capture those costs. And then we will generate a root cause analysis from the causing event. And that will help us get to the root cause of the issue. So let's go to live product and we're going to production loss analysis, which comes under the reliability tab. PLA. And I'm going to open an existing production plan. So this is a production plan that we have produced earlier for oil refining unit 23. And this unit is producing gasoline and diesel in the month of September. So we're going to look at diesel for this use case. And in this case, I'm going to enter actual production as a production analyst of 1,000 barrels as planned on day one, but only 900 on day two, which is showing here as a shortfall, an unaccounted loss of 100 barrels. That has a financial consequence, so we need to reconcile that loss and establish what is causing the loss. So if I now select reconcile the loss, I here will hit the plus button. And the loss amount immediately comes up, which is 100. And in this case, I'm going to reconcile that entire loss against a single causing event. You can see the equivalent downtime for that 100 barrel loss is already pre-populated. We've got our profit margin that we're going to use here as the standard margin. And I'm going to apply an impact code for this. And it's a performance issue. I'll put it as an other slow down day. I'll give it an OEE code. Which is performance. And it's a reduce rate issue. Now, the next thing I need to do is to link this loss to a causing event. So here I can either create a new event if one does not exist for this issue, or I can select the filter and see if somebody has already created an event for this issue. And indeed they have. Oil refining unit 23, the pump has degraded performance. And we know that that is what is causing this issue. So I'm going to link that event and save that loss. The loss is now reconciled against that event and that OEE code. If I now go back to the main view for production data, we see a green indicator showing that the loss has been reconciled. So in other words, we have accounted for the cause of the loss. If I now go to production losses page. I can see the financial implication of that loss shown on this grid here. And if I go to the events page, I can see that the event that I have just linked to a loss, which is pump degraded performance, is now in my events page, and it is showing that a root cause analysis is needed. This is default behavior that is prompting me to initiate a root cause analysis to investigate the cause 
of this degraded performance. So if I now select that row and select create root cause analysis, this will initiate the process for creating a root cause analysis in our APM root cause analysis module. And you can see that the analysis name has already been pre-populated. Pump performance is degraded. And the poor pumping performance is affecting production. So I'm going to save that. And we see now that the root cause analysis module is opening with our new analysis that has just been created. And the definition data sheet confirms what we've just created. And if we look to the right, the team member is myself. We have under linked assets, we have the causing asset from the event, which is G001097, which is the pump. And we have the event for which the causing asset is linked. So if I select the events tab there, you see the pump performance degraded event. That ends this video. In the next video, we will be showing you how to pursue the root cause analysis and getting to the root cause of the issue. Thanks for watching. I hope this presentation was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to your GE representative. Thank you.